everybody and welcome back to the Rotary Wheel. My name is Sean McCartney and I'm your host this evening and uh, with me today is Mr. Ron Thompson. Hi Ron. Hi. Good to have Johnny. you here. Thank you. So Thank you. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Rotary today and just uh, kind of want to jump into it. So uh, Great, great. What's well, on your mind, sir? Well, Rotary uh, uh, has uh, you know many avenues of service and one of them is uh, community service. Okay. And uh, our club has been around since the 40s, and we've uh, accomplished, you know, many great things in our little community here. And uh, I'll just touch on some of the, the the big ones. There's been lots and lots of them over the years, but uh, uh, the one that's uh, near and dear to me is Rotary Park. Right. Because I've had grandchildren play there, and you know, friends. And Rotary Park was built, I think, 30. 35 years ago originally, and then we've been enhancing the park ever since. Uh, since I've been in Rotary, I've been in since 1991. We've uh, added uh, lights for night games. We added a large playground. Uh, I was up for, at that playground the other day with my children, so it's a wonderful addition to the park, Ron. Thank you. It really it, is. It is, and uh, I believe that was in Glenn Webb's year. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, uh, we took on a sort of a rehab project about three years ago to to bring Rotary Park up to say modern times. Okay. In other words, uh, make it ADA right. accessible, uh, build new bathrooms, um, bleachers, about everything in the park. Yeah, we, I mean, we, you, we, we, you go up to Rotary Park now, Ron, and it's a it's a whole different experience. I mean, it really is. Those, those bathrooms are amazing. The bleachers are amazing. Um, it's really, really well done. And so when we worked on that project, was it, obviously, I think we, we tapped into the entire community to help us with that, correct? We, we did. And uh, it was, uh, uh, I, I was sort of the bus driver on the whole project. And uh, I, I re went up to bid for the bathrooms and different things and uh, uh, it was well over $100,000 mm. just for the bathrooms and the bleachers and a few other things. And uh, fortunately, uh, I got a couple of the right people, uh, uh, Jim Carter and uh, Gordon Vicini yep. over there and showed them what I was thinking, uh, our group did. And uh, they said, uh, well, let's see what we can do. And uh, about eight months later, we had two brand new, complete men and women's ADA approved modern bathrooms. Yep. We had uh, bleachers. We had, I believe, probably 150 yards of concrete, wheelchairs, and people could get back and forth because it used to be just dirt. Right. Jim and yeah. Jim and Gordon are, are the real deal. They, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I work with them with them a lot in, in my work at the Boys and Girls Club, and they are. You know, not only for the club do they help a great deal, but they help everyone a great deal. Right, they, they really are they community, do. community folks. They, they do. And then, uh, so we went out to many other people in the community mm -hmm. for lots of other things, and we actually have a, like a billboard over there that lists all the people right. that contributed. We painted, we put up new flagpoles, we completely rehabbed the snack bar put new roofs on. It's just really well done. And, right. and so the, you know, the community service aspect there was, was obvious in, in right. that we were helping the park. Uh, right. What's another right. example of a, good, of a project that uh, we worked on the, recently? Uh, the big one we, we did, I don't know, seven or eight, 10 years ago is the skateboard park. Yep. And that was a huge project. That was, I believe, a four-year project. And uh, Ed Matthews and Gail Barsotti and Joe Stansel, in fact, right. the park's named after Joe. Right. We built the skateboard park, and it's ranked right up there with the best ones in the whole United States. It's amazing. Yeah, there was a. It's a. You see the kids down there, and I've seen other skate parks, and it does not come close to what that skate park is. Right, uh, right. It's just a great facility, and then uh, those are probably the two biggest things mm -hmm. that we've done. Uh, the welcome to Placerville signs. Right. On both sides of town, we built those. Uh, I don't know how many years ago, and we've... Uh, we were out uh, working on those pretty recently. We, we were, yeah. yeah, doing clean landscape and whatnot, cleaning the signs. And those were rehabilitated probably seven or eight years ago. We do, in the community, smaller projects like uh, help the Boys and Girls Club. Yes, you do. <laughs> 
And, yes, you do, sir. Uh, we do coats for kids. Mm -hmm. We helped out on the uh, little memorial corner there at Snell School for the principal. Right. And we helped landscape it. We did landscape that yeah. with, with the community, right. Broadway people. Um, we do uh, Toys for Tots, which is coming up. Right around um, the corner. Uh, we do uh, backpacks for kids. Uh, Rod, a Rotarian, was... Yeah, Rod was super at that this past year. Um, I think we created 400 backpacks, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, I would say yeah. it's almost 400 backpacks yeah. that went out to, to kids that needed a backpack. Right, with supplies in them. Right. And uh, so... The scholarships uh, are a good one, too. Yes. That we give to our... Uh, give to... Was, is it two scholarships a year, I Well, we, we traditionally had given two scholarships right. a year. This year, my son Jeff is the president of the Rotary Club this year, and uh, he wants to do, I believe, six. Wow. And uh, bring in, uh, you know, El Dorado, Ponderosa, Excellent. You know, all the high schools here. So, uh, you know, the pressure's on to raise some more funds mm -hmm. for that. And uh, We'll get it done. Uh, yeah, we will. And uh, so those are just a few of the things yeah. that, that, that we do. Um, we um, just a small thing that, that we did last year is the trash containers downtown okay. that we were part of originally putting in in mm -hmm. 10 years ago, 12 years ago, whenever that was. They're all beat up and whatnot. So we uh, we went over to uh, uh, we noticed that how bad they looked. So we went over to Racket, uh, one of our local businesses right. here over the industrial complex and said, you know, what would it take to uh, uh, strip these down and repowder coat them? Because they're good trash cans, they're just beat up. Right. And uh, they got it done. They got we it just done. kept taking two or three over at a time. I think there's 35 of them in town. So that was just a, a small project. Well, that we and did. we did a little work over at the fair recently. You know, yes, we did. We did a nice project mm -hmm. uh, in the front of the fairgrounds, the entry. Right. We refurbished all that yeah. uh, paint, you know, and pressure washing, staining, and and actually, uh, those of you who've been by the fair, there's a new uh, billboard yep. uh, with the community events there, and uh, it's a good little quick story about Rotary. Oh, I love this story. I, it's I, a good I, one. I looked. That's uh, why because, I asked you about it. I wanted you to my, share. my business is right across the street, and I kept looking at that sign. I'm going, man, that sign looks terrible. Yeah. And it's probably been there for 30 or 40 yeah. years. Who knows? So uh, I took a picture of it, and I went over to Western Sign, and I said, you know, how much would it cost to build a new one of right. these and put it in that same spot? And uh, so uh, they said, okay, we'll get you a quote. So they emailed me a quote, and... Uh, I'm looking at it, what's in the quote, and then uh, uh, then I see the price. It was okay. $2,600 or 3000 or whatever it was. And I'm going, oh, wow, we've got all these other projects, right. but I'll bring it to the board and see if we can get this approved. So I kind of set it aside mm -hmm. for now. And uh, that was actually during this year That's right. when we did this. Yeah, pretty recently. And so uh, uh, Keith over at Western Sign calls me up and says, hey, what about that uh, new uh, board over there at the fairgrounds? I said, well, you know, we don't really have the $3,000 or yep. 2600 or whatever it was. It was. And, I, and he says, well, did you read the whole quote? <laughs> and I go, no, I stopped at the uh, price. Right. And, and he said, well, if you look down at the bottom, it says no charge. Uh, look at that. <laughs> and See? so Western Sign stepped up big yeah. time. Got it built. It's over there now. It's beautiful. Well, it really looks great. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I, I you know, when I was, when I first joined the club, Ron, the thing that I was most impressed with was uh, just the the amount of community involvement that this club does. Mm -hmm. And you know, you've been involved since '91, and you've been able to see that kind of grow and just the the real positive impact that that the club's been able to able to make. And so, you know, I, I'm guessing here, but I, I would think that one of your real highlights of the Rotary is is the ability to do the community projects is that correct it is uh, the you know we all everybody in business there, there's people coming to you all the time looking for donations for different things and whatnot and uh, and uh, the rotary is a great uh, venue I guess or whatever you call it to 
to join and help out the community right. and really get uh, a big bang for your buck. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I agree. Because all these business people that are in Rotary uh, are, you know, they, they're aware of where the money is going. Right. And uh, instead of just maybe writing a check to something. Yep. And uh, so, and you know, we do a lot of community work projects, just like you were talking about the cleaning up of the Welcome to Placerville signs. Yep. And uh, uh, we've done tons of stuff around town, the painting, whatever, you know. So uh, the work projects are actually good fellowship, good fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a part of it too. And, yeah. you know, we would be remiss and I say, I mean, one of the be great things about Rotary is just the friendships that we're able to create. Right. And those friendships don't just happen on the Thursday night. They, they last forever. They're, they're a lifetime. Yeah. A relationship, yeah, and friendship. Yeah, it they really are. Is. Yeah, yeah. So I um, I want to cover one more thing, mm -hmm. and then we'll uh, we'll get out of here. I, I guess as we as we move into uh, to the next year into 2014, uh, do you envision any uh, any large projects that we're going to undertake, or anything that that you want to cover the, or discuss? The the, the 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 one that we need to get done yeah. is the Rotary Park. Right. Uh, we we. Uh, Thought it would be about a year and a half project, uh -huh. uh, and uh, we're entering. Uh, we're in year three now. So you'd like to put a bow on that bad boy? I would. Okay. I would, and we still have uh, investment-wise, uh, and actually, here again, Mr. Vicini is stepping up, Good. and uh, uh, we have paving to do. Okay. You know, ADA striping. Uh, we have uh, uh, some lights, lighting poles that need to be replaced, and then. Uh, uh, we have a landscape architect here in town that's, that's gone in and we're going to take out all the stuff that doesn't belong there. You know, like there's a small fig tree, for example. Okay. And we know it didn't probably start there. Understood. You know? So yeah. just things like that that don't, yeah. that, and we want to put stuff that's indigenous to, the, okay. to that area. And, so we'll uh, get it done. We'll get it done uh, hopefully by the end of this year. Excellent. Well, that's and a that's a great goal, and I'll just say, you know, on behalf of the uh, the kids that are helped at the Boys and Girls Club, Ron, it's uh, Rotary really makes a big impact in their lives, and uh, Rotary makes a big impact across the community. And so, uh, thanks for taking the time today. Thank you, uh, Sean. You're, you're a great man. We appreciate all your support uh, throughout the community. And with that, we will uh, see you next time here on the Rotary Wheel. I'm Sean McCartney, and have a great day.